All right, a remarkable new Harris Harvard poll, chaired by our friend Democrat Mark Penn, one of the best in the business, comes out with some startling results. Let me just bring in right away two dear friends, Katie Miller, former communications director for Vice President uh, Pence, and Hogan Gidley, former deputy White House press secretary. Um, kids, I just want to read you some of the results. We're going to put some of them on the full screen. Um, 68%, 68% say that signals from Biden's White House are encouraging illegal immigration. Signals from Biden's White House. In other words, basically saying, come on in. 55% believe that former President Trump's border closing policies should have been left in place. Let me put this chart up on the full screen, if we may, to show folks the staggering change in uh, illegal crossings from the Trump years, from the last Trump years. Here it is. That red line represents, I mean, the surge from, I don't know, I can't see the bottom, but it's running at about 180,000. You can see that spike up. That is January, February, when Biden changed Trump's policies. It couldn't be any clearer. So let me begin with Katie Miller. How can they still be in denial, Katie? How, how, can, how can Kamala Harris go down there? First of all, she really didn't go to the border. And second of all, she had no deliverables, no new policies. She didn't say, you know, uh, we're going to catch and deport. So the catch and release is still there. Nothing has changed. And the situation is 180,000 illegals per month. And that's probably a cheap number, isn't it? It's probably larger than that. You were in the Department of Homeland Security at one point. What do you think? Thanks to President Trump, President Biden inherited a secure border. But what President Biden did is he kneecapped the, the men and women of ICE, what he did was said, you can't enforce the laws that Congress passed. And so what, when someone comes here, they're released into the interior, never to be sent home again. So that's an incentive for men and women from Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, Venezuelans to come through the border and stay here forever. You know, that's a scandal and the American people know it. Until we can enforce the laws that Congress passed and until the president actually enforces the laws that Congress passed, I didn't know presidents could choose not to enforce congressional laws. So let's start there. Mm. But it's a scandal, and the American people know it. We need to, once again, just enforce the laws, which what President Trump did was he enforced the laws that Congress passed, and we had a secure border. You know, Huggy, uh, Marsha Blackburn, Senator Blackburn was on the show last week, and she makes a great point. I want you to comment on it in terms of the coming midterm elections. She said... This illegal immigration problem, which, you know, 80 percent of Americans just completely don't like it and blame Biden, OK, and realize how good Trump's policies were. She said, this isn't really a border problem, Hoagie. She said, this has become a national problem. And she said, it's a Tennessee problem. You know, it becomes a Kansas problem. Right. It becomes a Dakota's problem. Everybody, the eyes of uh, the whole country are on this. So I would reckon, as long as Biden continues on this path, it's going to be devastating in political terms, much less human terms, drug trafficking terms, child trafficking, and all the rest of it. No question, and she's absolutely right. I don't even know why we're talking about this, though, because uh, Secretary Mayorkas said the border was closed, right? I thought we had got a handle on this. But it's interesting how Kamala Harris goes down to the southern border to talk about the root causes of immigration, still her, her, her main term. You're the root cause of what we're seeing with the crisis at the southern border and throughout our country. There are three main issues dogging Democrats right now, as you know. Critical race theory, which is being blown up and, and actually backfiring on Democrats in all these school, bo school board meetings. Crime, when Democrats decided to defund all the police, and now we've seen a record number of homicides and shootings and rapes in these Democrat cities, but also the border. This is devastating our communities all over this country, hurting our businesses, hurting our families. But I want you to understand something. This is a coordinated effort. It is not a coincidence. It is on purpose that at the same time, Democrats are pushing for millions of people to come into this country illegally and unlawfully. They are also pushing for a complete erosion of all voter laws in this country to allow the power grab to actually come full circle where they think they can stay in these positions of power and control the government forever by allowing these people into this country illegally and then not requiring any voter ID for them to cast votes. They think they're playing the long game and they're going to stay in power because of it. Well, it turns out folks don't like any of it. Katie, another result from the Harris Harvard poll. Again, this is Mark Penn's the chairman. I don't know if you know him. He's a terrific guy. He's a Democrat pollster, 
Bill Clinton advisor many years ago. Anyway, here's some more numbers. Um, overall, 74% of voters view the current surge in illegal immigrants as a crisis and one that needs to be addressed immediately. So, so much for Mallorca and so forth. But it goes on. Here's where I want to go with you. 56% do not view climate change, racism, and sexism as root causes of migration. And Katie, you know what I would say? At least 56% just do not believe that climate change, sexism, racism, critical race theory is the root cause of anything, of anything. In other words, these issues, which are so prominent in the Biden, you know, progressive panoply, these are losers, Katie. They're losers across the board. And here you got, you know, the Harris poll showing that. And Harris poll is not a partisan poll. What you're seeing here is a surge of illegal immigration driven by the fact that the Biden administration on day one said they want to legalize everyone and create a, create a society where everyone is welcome. And what happens when you do that is you create a surge at the border and you create these backed up border patrol stations, which is what we saw. And in order to get people released and no longer have those overburdened border patrol stations, you're just releasing them into the country one after the next after the next. Did you know, Larry, that this year alone, excuse me, this month compared to this month last year, there was a 100 percent increase in family units, 100 percent increase in minors coming across the border and wow. a 200 percent increase in single adults? Huh. That's not that's, that's not a secure border. That's not our borders I mean, closed. I mean, they're telling us they're fixing the problem, but they're still running 180,000 illegals crossing the border. And I'll bet you they undercount. And just the very last point, really uh, quickly, Hoagie, because you mentioned it. Critical race theory is a loser. It's a loser. I mean, among other things, it got whooped in New York city, believe it or not. That's the li liberal workers uh, Bulgarian paradise. But I mean, Besides the immigration thing, where Trump gets credit and Biden's, it's critical race stuff is a loser. The whole racism mission was a loser. That's what this right. poll shows. Last word. Right. Ten seconds. Systemic racism, Democrats control all the systems. They have the House. They have the Senate. They have the White House. So the whole thing is absolutely ridiculous. These policies are completely unpopular. Mm. The American people are rejecting them, not just because they don't like it overall, but because it's having a negative effect on their lives, right. on their families, on their businesses. It ain't that's working. That's what they care about, and that's why we can win in 2022 yeah, it ain't and working. also 2024. You know what I mean? Nothing. It's not the ideology. It's not people that are voluminously well-read and so forth and so on. It's not working. That's Even right. people here in New York in these fancy private schools, they're up in arms. It's a complete revolt. It's fascinating to watch. Actually, I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm enjoying Katie Miller. I'm enjoying Hogan Gidley. You both are terrific. Please come back soon. 